We are going to kick your butt today, but also make sure that we show modifications for those of you who are maybe just getting started. Um, so Bethany and I are gonna kind of kick it back and forth. She's gonna kick my butt a little bit. I'm gonna kick her butt a little bit, but we're always, like I said, gonna make sure we show the modifications. So I want everyone at home right now to just go ahead and start getting in this stance right here. This is just called a boxer stance. I'm gonna explain our warm up. All right, and then we're gonna get after. We're gonna do two rounds of this warm up, and we have three exercises in the warm up. Bethany, let's show all of these first and foremost. All right, all right so our first one's gonna be a full body tap, and guys, this is exactly how you do it. If you notice, Bethany's shoulders are right over the top of her hands. She's gonna touch her shoulders, her shoulders, her hips, her hips, her knees, her knees, and then her toes and her toes. Now I want everyone to follow along. If you need to modify this movement, all you're gonna do is drop to your knees and do the same exact thing. All right, Beth, let's get up to our toes. All right, you notice she goes hand to hand, elbow to elbow, shoulder to shoulder, hip to hip, knee to knee, and then toe to toe. All right, we're gonna do that one more time. Here we go, hand, hand, elbow, elbow, shoulder, shoulder, Good, very nice, knees to knees, and then toes to toes. Good, everyone stand up, good job, good job. Stay boxer stance, all right? That's what we're gonna do. Uh, that's showing the first one, the second one is going to be squats. So we're just gonna get our feet shoulder width apart. All right, we're gonna drop down nice and low. As you notice, Beth, stop at the bottom. You see Bethany's quads are parallel with the ground. She's sitting her weight back on her heels, nose behind toes, shoulders right behind the hips. All right, do a couple squats here. Perfect. Good, very nice job. And our third exercise we're gonna do guys is called a rope pull, all right? This one is nice and fun. Pretend like there's a rope up there. You wanna reach way up into the sky and pull that thing down. We're getting our lats loosened up. Okay, if we slow this down to modify just a little bit, you're gonna be right here, all right? Pulling it down. Does that make sense? I know it does. All right, Beth, you ready for a full real-time awesome. warm-up? All right, here we go. We're gonna go for one minute on each one of these guys. Here we go, three, two, one, go, Beth. All right, now you're just gonna go at your pace here, right? Bethany is a trainer and she is a fitness expert. She's been practicing this for a very long time. So if you can't keep up with her pace, that's perfectly fine. I want you to go at your pace. Remember, we're going each one of these for one minute. You're tapping both hands first, your, your elbows, your shoulders, your hips, your knees, and then reaching way back to your toes. Good, and always making sure that those shoulders are aligned right over the top of those wrists. Spine is neutral through this entire movement. When you reach back to those toes, you really wanna drive those heels to the ground to feel that stretch in your hamstrings. Good job, we have 20 more seconds left. Good job, way to work hard. And make sure you're breathing during this. It's really important uh, to not hold your breath. Things seem difficult when you don't have any oxygen. Drive that oxygen to your body, take big, deep breaths. One more time, Bethany, good. Let's speed this one up a little bit. Shoulder, shoulder, hip, hip, good. Good, and then way back, way back. Good, everybody pop up. Good, very nice job at home. Hey, guys, make sure you're staying along with us. We're gonna take a little quick break in between each one, but I want an active rest, okay? An active rest, meaning you're bouncing around, staying in that boxer stance. Breathe, 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 catch yourself. Are you ready? Warm up. Ready. Body weight squats in five, four, three, two, and one, go. Good. Hey, now look, if this bothers your knees, Okay, if, the, if, if you had knee surgery, ankle surgery, uh, you have just some crunching going on in there, all I want you to do is the same exact motion, the same exact stance, and you're gonna just do a steam engine. Take that, squ take that squat right out of it, all right? But if you are ready to kill it and you're feeling nice and warmed up, you can elevate as well. Beth, elevate a little bit. Now we're gonna leave that ground and notice she's gonna catch herself into that squat. Good, very nice job. We only have about 20 seconds left, right? So there's three versions here. There's the steam engine, good. There's the body weight squat, and then there is that jump squat. And you choose yours, all right? This burn boot camp and this exercise is for everybody. In five, four, three, two, and one, good. Shake it out really quick. Two big deep breaths, ready? In, good, and back out. Very nice job. One more, big deep breath in, big deep breath out, and we're gonna do those rope pulls in three, two, and one, go, nice and high, good. Notice that she's reaching those hands way up into the ceiling. That's gonna stretch this lat muscle out right here. It's really important to make sure you're reaching as high as you can. The whole time we're doing this exercise, getting warmed up, drawing that belly button into your spine, 
And remember, if you do have to slow it down a little bit, you're just decreasing the intensity, reaching up, pulling that rope right back in. All right? All right, Bethany. Now let me see everything you got for the next 20 seconds, all right? Here we go, everything you got. Good, very nice. And notice when she is, you know, on the floor with her feet, she's not rolling those feet out, all right? Staying up on her big toes, knees coming above the belly button, above the navel. We have 15, 14, 13. Great job. We're going to go all the way down. And as we're going through this warm up, I want you to make sure you're speeding it up, speeding it up for eight. Come on, come on, come on. Seven. You got this. We're almost there. In six, five, four, three, two, and one. Very nice job. All right. To continue the warm up, because we're not quite there yet, we're going to cut that round in half. We're only going to go 30 seconds, but we're going to do it one more time. All right. We want to make sure that we're nice and thoroughly warm before we get into the full body conditioning. Okay. Are you ready, Bethany? Ready. Are you ready at home? All right. Take one big deep breath. We're going to start in five, in four, in three, in two, in one. Go hand, hand, elbow, elbow, shoulder, shoulder, hip, hip, knee, knee, and big reach. And big reach, very nice job. We're gonna do two more repetitions, all right? And remember, we're on time. You don't have to follow Bethany's pace here. Good job. Way to work hard, make sure you're breathing. Good, ain't nothing to it but to put that work in. Hey, and once you get started, it's a little bit easier after about the first three or four minutes. You're over that kind of um, hesitancy to get your workout started and we're, we're going, we're rocking and rolling now in five, in four, in three, Two and one. We're not going to take a break this time. Let's go right into squats, okay? Here we go. Right into squats. Now, Beth's choosing to do, do jump squats. Surprise, surprise. But you don't have to, all right? Whatever you choose. Steam engines, normal squats, or jump squats. Keep it up. Very good. You can see that elevation in her leaving the ground. When you leave the ground, you're going to burn more calories. Okay, we're busy people. I know you're a busy person, and it's all about the time you're spent exercising and how intense you are. Good. 10 seconds, Beth, 10 seconds. Three, three 30 minute sessions of vigorous exercise is clinically and scientifically proven to be better than uh, medicine for depression. In three, two, one, good. So, hey, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go right now. We going, we going, we got three, two at home, one, let's go. Here we go, our 30 seconds is starting right now. As you noticed, Bethany rolled right into the next one because if we're gonna be efficient with our time, we need to minimize that time in between sets. We got you for 25 minutes today. Keep going, keep going. Good, 15, 14, 13. She's gonna get a chance to kick my butt soon, don't worry. <laughs> she's, she's thinking about it already, I know that. Good, keep it up at home. Hey, don't stop. This is where you might wanna start to take a break. We got 10, we got nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two and one, very nice job, very nice job. That a girl, all right, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out, here we go. We're gonna go do two rounds of this. Beth's gonna do the first round, I'm gonna take her through it. We're gonna flip, she's gonna do it on me and get a little bit of revenge here today. Absolutely. <laughs> How you feeling, Bethany? Great, warmed Awesome. Up. You warmed up? I'm warm. All right, let's stay moving, guys, at home. Let's stay moving. Okay, here we go. We have uh, five different exercises, okay? Five of them, we got push-ups to power planks, we have Heisman's, we have hip bridges, we have low plank jacks, and we have called quarter burpees. Okay, I'm gonna show you one rep of each and then we're gonna get started. So let's everybody go down to their knees. Let's get in a position like Beth in this push-up position. Again, shoulders over the hands, okay? We're gonna do, um, right now, is it called a push-up to a power plank? So Beth's gonna lower down for a push-up. Okay, and as she comes up, she's gonna explode the feet on the outside of the hands to engage the core. That's one single repetition. Each one of these, we're gonna do for one straight minute. If you need to modify, go to your knees, do the push up. Good, back up to your knees. You can step up and step up and step back and step back. So anybody can do these. Okay, shoulders, elbow problems, take the push up out. Perfectly fine. Get it? No excuses. Here we go. Are you ready? Ready. All right, in five. Guys, you ready at home? In four, three, two, and one. Push up to a power plank. So that's one repetition, and we're going for one straight minute. Now I want you to notice something when Beth goes down for this push up. Bethany is going to keep those elbows nice and tight, okay? Isolating those triceps as well. So now we're incorporating chest, triceps, core, quads and calves, all in one motion, and as well as your shoulders. So this is truly full body conditioning. Good, you got it. And it's about taking your time, doing really good repetitions, all right? We're halfway through right now. Great job. Now, Beth, why don't you show us some modifications, okay? So, so we're gonna go down to our knees. If you're uh, cruising along, keep going, okay? We still have 20 seconds left. Step up, step up, 
step back, and step back. Good. Where are you feeling this the most, Beth? My arms and my core. All right, keep it going. Good. 10 seconds at home. Let's finish with two good reps. Here we go. One, good. Nine, eight, good. All the way, all the way. Keep working, keep working. We got five, we have four. One more, three, two, and one. Very nice job, very nice job. Hey, high five yourself if you're not working out with somebody else. High five yourself. Love on yourself a little bit. Hey, you're here, you're working out. That's what it's all about, moving that body. If you didn't quite do that one as well as you want, you got another chance. We're gonna do it again, all right? So we have Heismans, Heismans. We just know, we know that the, the Philadelphia Eagles just won the Super Bowl. Uh, everybody's super excited about that. So we're gonna throw a little football flavor in there. We're gonna do some Heismans, okay? So let's show one rep on a Heisman to the left. Stop, good, and stop. One thing you really wanna do is at this position right here is balance, stop, and then explode. One, two, up. One, two, up, okay? Makes sense, modify. Just take that intensity down a little bit. It's a step and a knee drive. Everybody got it? Are we good? Beth, you good? I'm good. All right, here we go. We got one minute in five, four, three, two. Let's go to the right first, go. Good, very nice job. Good, and as we go through this, guys, we're gonna pick up that intensity a little bit, but I want you to get your rhythm down, okay? Get your rhythm down first. I know that sometimes, especially if you're just beginning to work out, the coordination here is a little bit hard, but it's explosive steps and then driving that knee up, good. Okay, now we're really gonna work that booty here because we're gonna get that lateral push off every time she's pushing off to the side, really getting that gluteus medius in there, uh, which is often neglected in normal everyday leg exercises. We're getting the lateral motion in there as well. We are halfway, way to go, good job. Driving it up, driving it up, good, way to work hard. Now we're gonna take that intensity up a little bit. I want Beth to show you full speed at what this looks like. Go ahead, Beth, drive, drive. Notice that it's an explosive knee drive, okay, and little short taps in between. 10, good, let's go, we got 10 seconds left. This is where it counts, this is where it counts, you got the rhythm, we're all the way there almost in five, four, three, two, and one, very nice job. Oh yeah, hit bridges, hit bridges. All right, let's get down to the ground. Okay, everyone, here's what we're gonna do. Go ahead and make your way to the ground. All right, we're gonna get your heels right below your knees. Uh, feet shoulder width apart, you're gonna drive those hips up into the sky, squeezing the glute muscles, okay? We're gonna go, uh, this is the normal version we're gonna do right here, you're just gonna drive it up. Now if you wanna intensify this a little bit, take one foot off the ground, okay? You wanna intensify it even more, we can do a plyometric, go up, okay? 30 seconds on each leg, or if you choose to do both feet flat on the ground, then you go, uh, you go the full minute, both feet flat, are you ready? Ready. Here we go, five, four, ready at home, three, two, and one, here we go. So Beth's gonna start in this single leg, all right, and what she's really doing is isolating this bottom glute muscle here uh, and really putting uh, some emphasis into her hamstrings and also the lower back extensors, okay? So Beth, now we're gonna kick this up for the next 15 seconds with a plyo. Go ahead. We're gonna lift it up, good, lift it up. Now this is, anytime you add plyometric to this, y'all, what you're gonna really do is uh, force yourself to get your heart rate up so you're really killing two birds with one stone you're maximizing that time, because I know we're all busy, we got kids, we got jobs, we have families, five, four, you're gonna switch legs, and three, two, one, switch legs, very nice job. Okay, we gotta make sure at all times we're conscious, time is a commodity, but we can't use that as an excuse to not work out. We have to really make sure that we're conscious of the time, and if you don't have the time, and you make the time, the time can serve, does not serve you, or you serve time, time does not serve you. Are you ready? We got five. We're gonna go plyometric in four, in three, two, one, go. 10, nine, good, eight, you got it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Very nice job, oh yeah, awesome. Good, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. This is our last exercise in our first round. Last exercise, two to go. Two of our last exercises in our first round. We have a low plank jack, let's face this way. All right, go down to your elbows. Perfect, again, neutral spine, flat through. You're gonna drive the belly button into the spine, squeeze the glutes, okay? And we're gonna do a plank jack. She's gonna make sure she's in this solid plank first and then a plyometric jack, out and in, out and in. Working abductor muscles, adductor muscles, gluteus medius, and also your core and your lower back extensors and your shoulders being in the plank position. Good, now if we modify this, we're gonna go one step out and one step out. You wanna modify even a little bit further, go up to your hands, 
Good, back up to your toes, one step out, and one step out makes it a little bit easier. Are we ready? Does that make sense? Are you good with that? I'm good. All right, I know you're ready to kill it. We got one minute in five, four, three, two, and one, go. Good. Hey, it's slow and controlled, okay? This is not a race. If you feel your butt getting up into the sky like this, okay, and you feel this, angle in your shoulders here, we know that we have to be self-aware and feel that and drop those hips back in. That's why it's so important to exercise when you're doing it intensely with a professional. Good, we have halfway, Beth, keep going. You got this. Come on, girl. You got it. I know it burns, Beth. Where are you feeling it right now? Oh, my core. <laughs> Good. We have 18 seconds. Can you do it for 18 more seconds? You got this. Good, in and out, in and out, good. I'm ready, I'm ready. Come on, Beth, here we go. I know you got a little bit more in your tank. I know you got a little bit. Here we go, in five, four, three, two, one. We kick it to overdrive, ready, go. Good, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out, shake it out, Woo! shake it out, shake it out. Hey, great job, great job. One more, one more, one more. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, last one in the first one. Hey, let me tuck you in right there, girl, okay. We're excited, we're excited, we're excited. Hey, as we go through this, remember to breathe. We talked about that at the beginning. Don't let yourself hold your breath when you're going through this. Don't deprive that body of oxygen. It needs it to be energized. It needs it to fuel your workout. Here we go, last one, quarter burpee. Okay, we're gonna go down into a squat, let's start in a squat position. We're gonna go down to a squat, hands to the ground. Okay, you're gonna go back into a burpee, back to that same squat position, okay? What we're not gonna do is stand all the way up. Got it? Right there, now show us the modification, Bethany. Step back, step back, step forward, and step forward. Great job, oh uh, yeah, are you ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Good, how many reps can you do in one minute? Here's a good goal, 10, 15, 20, 25, pick yours, depending on where you start. You're just starting to do 10 reps in the first minute, or even six, just don't do zero. Just do more than you did yesterday, and that's all that matters. It's a you versus you. It's the progression that you have versus yourself, not comparing yourself to anyone on Instagram or anything like that. We are halfway, Beth, all right? Because that stuff's not real. We all know that. This is real people putting in real work. Beth, you're tired, aren't you? I'm tired. And Beth's a trainer, right? She's tired. You should be tired. It's okay to break. Grab some water. We got 10 seconds, Bethany. Here we go. Last one. <laughs> then you get to return the favor. Nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. For our second round, we're gonna cut that timing in half, and Bethany now gets to train me. We're gonna go through the same exercises. Are you ready? I'm ready, are you I'm, ready? I'm done, I'm done. You're, you gotta take over now. Okay. You guys ready to see Devin sweat? <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Double tap, give I'm us the heart. I'm a little nervous. Okay, okay. All right. All right, so half time for this. 30 seconds on the clock. Push it up power. Let's okay. get started. Right. Three, two, one. As you can see, I am still out of breath from those quarter burpees. Okay, it is okay to be out of breath. Take your time, back into it. Nice, Devin. Keep going. You are now 15 seconds in at home. Okay, 15 more. Let's go. Now's the time to push. Second round. Keeping that back flat. Form is key. Last 10 seconds, Devin. Nice. Your last two reps here, Devin. Show us what a plyo push up looks like. Modding it up, clapping, power plank. Awesome work, three, two, one. Back on your feet, deep Ooh. breath. Nice work, Devin. Ow. Oh, You nice see what work. she did there? there? So much fun to get Devin clawing on the mat. <laughs> Guys, this is not easy, so be hard on yourself, or don't be so hard on yourself here, okay? Take what you need. We're going back to Heisman's, Devin. Deep breaths, we are going in four. Three, two, one, Heisman's. Driving that knee up, you guys, it's so important to get that isolation. You want to work those obliques. Beautiful, Devin. Nice. As you push off from side to side, really focus on those glutes. Yes. Nice. Keep digging, Devin. Beautiful. You guys, only 10 more seconds. Now's the time to speed it up. Devin, show us what a 180 on each side looks like. Squat, 180, 180 it back. Perfect. Into it. You guys, we've got five more seconds. Come on, two more reps. Four. One more, Devin. Three, two, one. Nice work. Take that breath. Woo. Take that breath. Shake out those legs. They should be on fire. They should be on fire right now. We're going to go to those hip bridges, though. Okay? We're going to take advantage of the fact 
that those fast twitch muscles are already warm. And now we're gonna get the slow twitch as well. So 30 seconds, 15 on each side. Three, two, one, let's go. You guys, it's only 15 seconds on each side. So at home, Devin's already doing the plyo because he knows this is the last round. Join him for the last five here. Four, you can do this, come on. We're pushing right now. Devin, give me two. One, switch right into it. Don't lose that momentum. We already got 13 seconds left right here. Engage in those glutes. Your core should be tight to protect that lower back. Five more seconds, seven. Four more seconds, come on, you can do this. One more rep, three, two, one. Body up on those feet. Woo. You should be burning, you should be sweating. You guys, I was sweating at the warm up. Nice work, Devin. All right, you guys, we're going right into that fourth one. The low plank jack, okay? Core's already engaged, you're ready to go. Make sure you don't let that booty go up in the air and keep those shoulders over your elbows. Devin, we're going inside. Four, ready to go, everything's tight. Three, two, one, let's go. 30 seconds on the clock, you got this. Remember, booty is down. The wider you can get those feet in that jump, the more you're gonna be using your core, more advantage here. Okay, awesome, Devin. Keep going. You are now down to 15 seconds at home. Keep going. You guys, if you can speed it up, now's the time. No, right now. This is the time for you to push. Five, four, Devin, let's go. Three, squeeze, two, one. You did it. Awesome work. You guys, here you go, one more. One more. You got it, Devin? Yeah, I'm tired. I mean, yeah. You, think you got it? I'm good, though. Quarter burpee? Yeah. You guys, I got a Quarter little burpee. fun in store for Devin. If you're ready to oh, gosh. up, yes. Uh, when I yell it out, join him. If not, Quarter burpee, take your time. It's only 30 seconds. You ready to roll? You're allowed to roll your eyes at your trainer every once in a while too, by the way. That's totally allowed. Totally allowed. <laughs> we're going in four, three, two, one. Let's go. 30 seconds on the clock. Squat, drive it back, right back into that squat. Perfect. Yes, this is great cardio, but listen, right now you are working those quads. They are in overdrive, are they not? Oh they, yeah. They burn so bad during this. You're already halfway through. 13 more seconds. I know Devin's got it. Do you have it? Uh, in here, he's going to show you what coming out of that squat feels like into a knee tuck. Let's go, Devin. I need three of those. One, right back down into it. If you can't do this, practice. Keep doing these quarter burpees. You will get there. One more, Devin. Five more seconds at home. Come on. One more seconds. Three. Give me one more. Two. One. That is how we do it. Awesome. You guys, that is a hard workout. That was good. That was tough. I mean, listen, real life right here. We are dripping sweat. But guess what? We're not done. Just not. when you think you've given everything. Oh no, that's not how we do it. One final push, I think you've got it. Can you double tap for me if you've got it? If you're gonna try this at home after this, double tap right now. Okay, listen, it's called our finisher, okay? Where we finish, take it up the notch. We've got a quick drop set. It's six reps, two exercises. Four reps of those two, two reps of those two. Who do you got for us? All right, so back to the burpee because guess what? While we all love to hate them, it's a great full body exercise, great cardio to finish out. So we've got that half burpee. You do not have to do the squat here. You're going to jump up. Devin, show him what a half burpee looks like. Hot. So notice his eyes are looking forward. He's not staring down at the ground. If you need to modify, you're dropping to those knees. When you step back, if you need that break, back up, stepping it up, up on those toes if you need to take out the hop. Second exercise, V up. Right. Why not get that core? We work our cores all day, every day. So if you want to get it stronger, you want to see that definition, you've got to work for it. V up. So Devin's spine is neutral. He's not cracking his neck here, reaching up to those toes. Nothing easy about these. Show them the mind you keep one foot on the ground and reach up to one foot at a time. That will count. Okay, so we're going to go six and six, four, four, Ooh. two, two. Guess what? It's oh, I'm ready. It's over just like that. Okay, but I need you to dig right now. Focus on those goals. Why are you watching right now? Why are you joining us? Because you have a goal, right? That's right. Devin's got goals. I got them. That's right. Let's get them right now. All right, here we go. Six and six, four, four, two and two. Half burpee and beat up. Then we're going in five, four, three, two, one. We're getting after it. So right here, remember, you're looking up in the jump. Core is tight as you jump back. Don't let those hips sag. Hey, Devin's showing you perfect form right there. Six of those. As soon as you're done with that six, you're going right into those V-ups. Remember, you are looking up a little ahead of you. Don't look up at the ceiling and don't look down at your legs. Okay, reaching up to your toes, not using momentum to swing your arms down. Awesome, Devin. You're already done with round one. Okay, you're still working on it. Take your time, count your reps. We're down to four. Beautiful, Devin. Nice. You should be out of breath. You are working hard right now, but you're almost done. Four more reps on those V-ups. 
If you start to feel this in your neck, you can look to the right for a couple reps. Look to the left for a couple. Keep that neck soft. Awesome, Devin. Reach up to those toes. One inch higher. One inch higher. Devin, last two. You got a knee tuck for me on those out, Murphy? Of course he does. One more rep. One more rep. Beautiful, Devin. Two knee ups. Good, we're almost there. Two left, and we're done. True story. One more, and we're done. Awesome work. You did it.